Welcome to the Friday evening edition of the Barbados Today News Update. Thanks for joining us. I'm Fernella Wedderburn. Our top story at this hour, a serious bodily harm charge against a 26-year-old Jamaican woman has been upgraded to murder. Tadisha Ann Juliet Haynes returned to the District A Magistrate's Court today after spending her first 28 days on remand at HMP Dodds following a fatal stabbing incident involving another Jamaican woman. She appeared before Magistrate Christy Cuffey Sargent earlier today, accused of murdering Shakaya Boyd, but was not required to plead to the indictable charge. 34-year-old Boyd was pronounced dead at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital after this stabbing incident occurred along Bay Street, St. Michael, in the wee hours of Friday, April 28. Haynes will return to court on June 23. In other news, this Friday, residents of Groves Cottage, St. George, say they are at their wit's end with overgrown bush in their area. They tell Barbados today the situation has not only left them at the mercy of cow itch, but numerous burglaries as well. The frustrated residents say despite numerous pleas to the relevant authorities, the situation has yet to be addressed. Go to the high grass, you know, grass is a trap. And plus, you don't hardly see anybody during the, the day in between 10 to 4. I hardly see people, everybody be at work. I'm so scared when the day come to leave the house. My laptop, my jewelry, my daughter had a talk there with money saving. <sighs> to me, that's like about $5,000 there. Yeah. Because obviously then over time I start missing, you know, you realize other things missing, other jewelry missing, and it was it was not a nice experience at all. Honestly, it's not a nice experience to when somebody invade your privacy. We really need to have a neighborhood watch. I mean, we wanted to start one, and the neighbors did not even come out. Because there's a police lady in the area over there, and she had initiated and stuff. But on the day of the meeting, nobody ain't come out. Because apparently it's only this side of the area that gets affected because of the, the overgrown bush. So the people that live on that side, it doesn't seem as it doesn't bother them, so nobody ain't decide to come to the meeting. So. However, lawmen at the District B police station are assuring residents that there will be greater police presence in their community as investigations continue into the burglaries. A top regional health official says despite successes in efforts to curb the spread of HIV, the Caribbean is far from being able to claim victory. UN Special Envoy on HIV to the Caribbean, Dr. Edward Green, told an awards ceremony of the Caribbean Broadcast Media Partnership in Barbados this morning that latest statistics show that infection rates are once again on the rise. He also noted that less than half of the people living with HIV and AIDS in the region are receiving treatment. Our rates vary from a high of 1.8% people living with AIDS, 1.8% um, of the population living with AIDS in Haiti, 1.6% in Jamaica, to approximately one and even lower in Barbados and the OECS countries. However, less than 50% of people living with AIDS in the region are receiving treatment. Cuba has the highest coverage with 67% and Jamaica the lowest with 32 In addition, ladies and gentlemen, it is estimated that only two out of five persons in the region know their status. The University of the West Indies Caveville Campus Students Guild is moving to provide some financial relief for students here. Guild President Kai Bridgewater and his counterparts in Jamaica and Trinidad are hoping to broker a deal with regional governments who owe the university. The efforts follow an announcement by the university earlier this month for a hike in tuition fees in the faculties of Social Sciences, Humanities and Education, Science and Technology and Law. What we have done, the Cable Guild of Students, is that we've contacted the Prime Minister, we've contacted the, min the leader of the opposition, because we want to see if we can shift the burden, the financial burden from the students to the governments of the region. Because at the end of the day, they owe us the debt. And we need to engage them, 
because our, the sustainability of our university is being threatened. So we understand that administration was put into a corner when they had to increase the fees. But what we're doing is engaging them. And I can say, I can, I can personally say, I've spoken to both and I've gotten positive feedback from both. And we have created a proposal that we put forward to the government so that we can see whether this financial burden can be shifted onto the government. There's regional and international news after this short break. Who call and get your yarns and potatoes? Wait, my girl, how you want to see you for long? I can't. How you keep it? But you don't sell any nation paper no more. But that paper ain't selling. They must know it stop selling that. Look, one time, I would make a little dollar from the sun to sun. But when Sunday night, I'm still trying to get the rid of them. <laughs> well, you know, you can't call that the sun to sun no more. You're going to call that sunset news. Call at no time down you stale. People complain that they ain't got nothing in it to read and the price keep going up all the time, all the time. A woman abused me so sick the other day, telling me that she just read Barbados today or life for free. Mm -hmm. I can take that abusing soul, so I switched to my potatoes and yams. Well, let me tell you, if pork selling, you got to raise pigs. How much for the yams? Four cents, you five cents a pound. Oh, but that's cheaper than that stale news. Give me... How much you want? A pound. Only a pound? Anyhow, these eating real good. Let me wrap them up for you. Come. Barbados Today, news you can trust. Originally, the verdict is still out on who will lead the Cayman Islands for the next four years as successful independent candidates and representatives of the two main parties try to find a middle ground on how a coalition government will be structured. There was no clear winner in the recently held poll as independent candidates took nine seats in the 19-seat Legislative Assembly, the incumbent People's Progressive Movement seven seats, and the other three went to the Cayman Democratic Party. However, political analyst Dr. Livingston Smith tells the successful candidates that time is of the essence as the country should not be kept in limbo. It's not a death knell for political parties by any way, all right? But it does suggest, though, that, that the parties, particularly the CDP, will have to um, engage in some reinvention, some reorganization, some rethinking process. So I think the vote is urging parties to, 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 to um, rethink how they do things and so on. Negotiations are going on between parties and independents and it takes leadership to go forward. He says there are several scenarios that could play off in the coming days to form the government but looking at the numbers. My estimation it would either be the PPM who does that and um, and certainly the other one would be from the independent branches if they can come up with some cohesive um, team and bring over some others that would be the government there. He says at the negotiation table they will have to be give and take, trading of portfolios and agreement on shared ideologies to move forward. And finally, rescuers in Sri Lanka are digging through mud and debris for survivors after flooding and mudslides triggered by monsoon rains left at least 91 people dead and more than 100 missing. Officials say 20,000 persons were also forced from their homes in the south and west of the country. The flooding is believed to be the worst since May 2003, when a similarly powerful southwest monsoon destroyed 10,000 homes and killed 250 people. And that's news. But there's more on our website at www.barbadastoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook. We're also on ICB Media in Boston Mills and Screen 3 at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Or you can tune in to Mix 96.9 FM for the very latest. Do have a safe weekend and join us again on Monday morning.